then we become unconscious of that sleeping as well and then we are again trapped in the same no it doesn't happen that we are unconscious of the sleeping we become actually more conscious of something else hmm? we see you slip that is one knowledge that has come to you a piece of information i have slipped now along with this another figment of knowledge is present in you which is that slipping is normal slipping is my nature i am not someone who cannot slip so even if i am slipping i cannot do any better than this more knowledge so you assess yourself judge yourself against that knowledge on the other hand there can be another type of knowledge which is that i am sleeping i know that i am sleeping along with that i also know that i am not supposed to sleep so what do i do i tell myself i have not slept at all i suppress the fact of sleeping i lie to myself i don't admit to myself that i have slept have you not seen people like this they will never acknowledge even the obvious they will say no i did not sleep no no they will be prepared to distort the facts but not simply admit that they sleep sleep so it is not really about not remembering that you have slept it is more about remembering something totally unnecessary you remember much more than you need to spiritual advancement therefore is a journey of gradually forgetting or if you are courageous enough then dropping all the load immediately immediately which was anyway not yours which was anyway not yours so it is no big problem as such dropping it but if you don't know the other way like if, if i am sleeping but i don't know the solution what what else can i do the solution is to simply acknowledge that you are sleeping you see you are sleeping but again that uh, fear will come and i keep on sleeping no go into this process what happens who are you you are the one who is sleeping is it the first time that you have slept that's who you are hmm the one who sleeps now along with that there is the claim that i am the one who will find a solution to the problem of sleeping now who are you the sleeping one the one who sleeps the one who cannot take a step rightly and what is your expectation from yourself i will correct myself i will correct myself and who are you do you have it in you to correct yourself it sounds a little humiliating right to the ego even if we admit that we have slipped the next thing we are quick to say is i will correct i will not correct my mistake now can you correct your mistake or are you the fundamental mistake your attitude that you will be able to take care of your problems is that not the fundamental mistake had you been so potent would you have slipped in the first place 
but you believe in two selves you say no 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 i slipped but you know i am better than this i can do better the ego does not live in facts the ego says no 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 this was just a momentary slip this was an accident i am not so bad i will do better next time now is that a fact do you do any better next time do facts support your claim the fact is you keep on doing equally badly even worse hmm to just see that whatever i have been doing is just a continuation of my same old story is to not to be the same person to acknowledge the facts of the story is to drop out of the story now you are no more a character in the story now you can read the story from a distance now you can learn from the story can a character in the story ever learn from the story but you as a reader can learn hmm because there is a certain detachment now you do not feel the need to prove a point now you are prepared to say all right there was someone who slipped i am different so i don't have to correct him or pay for his deeds or stand for him hmm what's the difference though between between the one who <coughs> didn't know that he sleeps and the one who now knows that's the only everyone difference. knows that he sleeps there is nobody who does not know that he sleeps sleeping is an experience and experience by definition is known if you do not know it we have just talked about it it is only for two reasons one you know and then you suppress or you know and then you say oh it is not slipping at all it is my nature so you give it a different and more decorated name you then call slipping as some kind of gliding by changing name of something it is very possible to masquerade it hide it you are suffering and you can call your suffering as responsibility hmm now you are saying i am not suffering i am just bearing my responsibility or you could be suffering and you may not allow yourself to admit that you are suffering you could go about saying hello good morning nice day how are you oh, i am very fine have you not seen people like this internally rotten crying weeping and wearing a nice smile on the face not letting anybody know and anybody includes themselves not letting anybody know how terrible they feel within these are the two ways in which we continue to slip i repeat one is through false naming you don't call slipping as slipping and suffering as suffering second is through suppression you have slipped and then you lie to yourself you say who slipped i didn't hmm in both these situations you are not able to look at yourself as a joke spirituality begins when you see that you are a clown people say it is all about seeing that you are god no it is about seeing that you are a joke a clown now unless you are god you cannot see that so that will anyway be there in the background okay. but if you start crying that i am god i am god you will not become god god is anyway there your pure self is there but the self that you are living is a joke can you see that that you are a clown hmm? can you see that how does it matter it is about seeing that you are a clown and you means the other one who? one who is it <laughs> who my son my son so the finger must turn and worse the clown does not go asking to another clown are you a clown <laughs> 
he knows he is you are very serious if you are calling others as a clown you are no more able to look at yourself as a joke you are able to look at yourself as a joke when you see that your question was a joke my question was a joke hmm? yeah are you getting it mm. so it is good, good indicator if we are able to laugh at ourselves we can sense how much we are surrendered of course yeah. and when we compromise also it's also uh, a sort of suppression it is additional knowledge you do not compromise without having been fed with the knowledge that you need to compromise a monkey hardly compromises even kids do not easily compromise adults compromise very easily because they have knowledge they have been told a few things hmm? 